seven things that will happen when you die. Life flash. An extremely common phenomenon within people who are dying is that they see their entire life flash before their eyes. The brain snaps into hyperspeed mode and starts revisiting your memory data bank before your soul separates from your body. You can see your body. Many people will see their physical body right as they exit it at the moment that consciousness disconnects from the physical body. You will be able to see your surroundings and the things that are happening around your dead body. This will not scare you. However, because it will feel as natural as anything. Some people report feeling frustrated or angry over the way they died and wishing that they could go back into their body to seek revenge. But this feeling passes with time as you begin to fall into the light. The light. People always report seeing a light when they die. The light appears off in the distance and you will slowly be pulled towards it, almost as if you are being pulled by a magnet. The light is always accompanied by a sense of love and peace. This is your transition phase back to your home in the spirit world. Seeing dead relatives. Right when you enter into the spirit world after being pulled through the light, you are greeted by loved ones who are there to embrace you and comfort you. It's sort of like a reunion. These are not necessarily your relatives from your current earth life. They may be family members of yours from previous lives who have been with you throughout your whole soul's evolution. Essentially, you have family members you don't currently know about from a totally different bloodline who will greet you as you enter the spirit world. You will, of course, remember their names and recognize their faces upon return. It's important to note here that the souls will take on the image they had in physical form to create a sense of home and familiarity for you. Souls don't look like they did on Earth necessarily. The body is just a body. The soul is formless, but can take various shapes to serve different purposes. It is said that advanced souls who have lived many lives don't necessarily have relatives that greet them because they understand what the spirit world is about and have been through many times before. It is said in the books that advanced souls sometimes skip this step because it is not needed for them. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides. You have your own assigned guardian angel or spirit guide depending on which term you like to use better. Whatever you wish to call them, you will encounter your guide in the spirit world and they will comfort you and make you feel at home. But this is also the time where the fun and games are over. After you experience some of the heavenly realms, duty begins to call. Your guide has been with you and watching you throughout your life and wants to go over some things with you. It's time to take out your report card from the life you just lived. Life Review You meet with your angel's guides and go over everything that happened in your life. People report seeing their entire life as a sort of movie film in front of their eyes or on the pages of a book. You may have to see some things that make you feel ashamed and like you failed. But this is not a time of judgment. This is a time of review and discussion about what needs to be improved upon as a soul. After you see your whole life, you may come to an agreement with your guys to come back to Earth, to work on things after a certain period of time in the spirit world. You don't want to return. You feel such an overwhelming amount of peace and love that you don't want to return. You don't have to worry about illness or earthly tasks. You are boundless, safe, and free. No stress, no pain, and no suffering. But remember, reincarnation may await you. You may either volunteer to come back to help other souls on Earth. You may need to come back to alleviate karma, or you may choose to come back to evolve more like a soul and experience the richness of life. Keep in mind, these are what thousands of people have been saying about their memories experiences of the afterlife, 
and these conclusions are being drawn from 40 years of professional work. I personally confidently believe in the reality of such a process, as I think it makes the most sense and is well supported by evidence. That being said, there are people who report going to realms which resemble hell where they see demons and other nasty things and other nasty things. We can't turn a blind eye to the reality of dark realms just because they may scare us. Although Dr. Newton did not report any such findings, many people who have had any such findings, many people who have had very frightening experiences which had deterred them away from bad behavior and inspired them to live better lives. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.